Hey, it's a beautiful winter day and right this moment I'm inside uh, one of the greenhouses at Front Porch Pets and as you can see there is still food growing and even over there there's some kale from just uh, months ago and some more over here. Uh, so why do I keep coming to Wisconsin? Well mostly because I like to be inside a beautiful greenhouse and stay toasty warm during the winter. Now, really, uh, let me just tell you a, a story, if I can. Uh, about 25 years or so ago, uh, Chef David, David Baldus, was living in Candy Kitchen, where I live, where the, where the, where the Wolf Sanctuary is. And uh, he had started a beautiful bakery in the nearby town of Rama, which over time, just simply things didn't work out, which is, you know, common. You try to start things and they don't work out. But it was all for the best because... Uh, Shortly after leaving Candy Kitchen, David made a boo-boo, which became this place right here. And that boo-boo was, he had, was dehydrating some sweet potato, and it got a little bit too dehydrated, and he gave one of the slices to his dog. His dog uh, went and laid down and chomped on it, and came back for seconds, and uh, then came back for thirds, and the light bulb went on David's head, and he's like, hey, I think I'm onto something. So. As he would tell you, he started selling his sweet potato dog treats in farmer's markets. And in time, a distributor found him and said, hey, people want your dog treats. So, voila, now we have front porch pets. Over these last 20 some years, every few years, David would call me and say, hey, Leighton, I'm thinking about you, what are you doing? And I'm thinking about the wolves. And then a couple of years later, he'd call again, and say, hey, Leighton, what's going on? And we would chit chat. and. He would tell me all this exciting things that he's doing. And then uh, a couple years ago, he uh, and his beautiful daughter, Ashley, came out to Wild Spirit and we walked around and talked and, and uh, began just sort of talking about dogs and dog food and how I'm so passionate about it and he's so passionate about it and maybe we could combine some passions together. And uh, then if you recall, last June, I got sorely, sorely, sorely depressed. Well, actually, I had been depressed for many years and very stressed, extremely stressed for many years. I just didn't know. Uh, my body hadn't completely crashed. Oh, but uh, let's uh, go back in time just a little bit. Uh, now, when I took over the Wolf Sanctuary in 2003, there were 84 animals and $1,200 in the bank. Uh, can you b begin to see where stress starts? 84 animals, $1,200 in the bank, and then about uh, a dozen or more humans that also need to be fed and paid. And so my stress level began, and I began moving balls to the wall, busting my ass every single day. As a matter of fact, I calculated that from, uh, from the Wolf Sanctuary to Albuquerque, in uh, about an 18-year span, I drove that drive over 4,200 times, which is 130 miles round trip, uh, to raise money, to raise awareness, to do educational programs, to keep the Wolf Sanctuary going. And uh, over time, the stress basically destroyed me mentally, physically, emotionally. Just, uh, I went downhill, but I didn't know. I was too stressed, too busy. Saving lives, feeding animals was the most important thing. And then in 2006, my body was so deteriorated, I went from 190 pounds to about 160 pounds and didn't know that I had been suffering from a horrible autoimmune disease called celiac. And uh, so more, more destruction of my body, my adrenals had, had been destroyed and uh, my, my will to live, but I kept going. I kept moving, kept going, kept going, kept going. And then fast forward to uh, June, 2018 where I just dropped and I had to take a break from the wolf sanctuary for three months uh, I my beautiful friend my wonderful friend David uh, chef David f gave me an all expense paid vacation took care of me brought me to his house it's like a resort on the lake I stayed in the boathouse and uh, began to do some self realization and I had discovered that I was horribly 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 depressed I had been so overstressed 
that uh, my body and my mind and my spirit was falling to pieces and uh, I have to make a change. I would not have been able to take that all expenses paid vacation from my wonderful friend if I didn't have Crystal, my amazing assistant, and Ray, uh, my other assistant, and Ramon, and, and all the people that are working at the sanctuary now. I couldn't have left. I would have had to have stayed and gone deeper and deeper into hell. Uh, but fortunately, I have those people. So I was able to come to Front Porch Pets and recover. But then I learned something totally amazing. And I have to ask you this question. What pet treat company do you know of? What pet treats do you buy where each one is handmade? where each one is homegrown in a beautiful greenhouse like this. Well, that's the reason why I'm in Front Porch Pets here in Wisconsin, because this is the most awesome operation I have ever, ever encountered. I am pretty damn sure, and if you please, please, please prove me wrong, that this is the only pet treat company on planet Earth that actually grows all the foods that go into the pet treat and actually hands make every single pet treat. There are no machines stomping, stomping, stomping out uh, pet treats and, and extruders extruding things and all that. None of that happens here. The pet treats are grown in this greenhouse. Pet treats are grown in the beautiful gardens. Pet treats are grown in the pastures. So this is very exciting for me. So where I am right now, I'm inside the greenhouse and I want to show you a little bit more about this particular greenhouse. Right behind me you see a salad bar. This salad bar is growing. It just got replanted. But uh, the salad bar is in a hydroponic system and the salad bar is fed by the fish emulsion that comes from these fishies right here that are growing right here. This, this fish water goes into the salad bar, gets cleaned by the salad and then sent back to the fish as clean water. That's, uh, that is one of the permaculture methods that Chef David is using here. I just can't even begin to tell you how incredibly impressed I am by the fact that this man is so conscientious about what is going into Petri. Uh, here, let me just show you the commercial kitchen real, uh, from the outside real quick here. Right behind me, this building is a commercial kitchen. Inside that commercial kitchen, humans and human hands are making dog treats all day long dog treats that were grown right here on property and what 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 is not grown on property is grown right down the street now David says why should I grow cranberries when one of our nation's cranberry growers are just eight miles away now we also have a, uh, a, a beautiful apple orchard with hundred and twenty trees and ten different varieties of apples that go into these dog treats now one of the foods that also that front porch pets doesn't make but is the sort of the keystone product which is sweet potatoes but Wisconsin isn't a good sweet potato growing state so David buys them from a couple states away but let me tell you there's no foods from New Zealand coming here there's no foods from Canada coming here there's no imported this or imported that it's all right here which is exciting for me because pet treat companies are not this conscientious. The other great thing that I, I love about Chef David is that he cares about our environment more than most people I have ever met. And he has this beautiful farm. That's where I'm living in a, my small little travel trailer at the farm. And he's raising these beautiful cattle that will one day be going into pet treats. But moreover, the cattle are there to nurture a pasture. The chickens are there to nurture a pasture. The turkeys are there to take care of this pasture. Uh, so he's got this awesome operation where all the eggs that go into dog treats are, are coming from chickens that are pasture raised that live in this egg mobile and move through the pasture. And then there's four or five other chicken tractors that move through the pasture. And then there's the turkey tractor that moves through the pasture. And what they do is they follow the cows. So they follow the cows and they scratch up all the cow poo, eat all the bugs that are growing in there. And they're basically little tractors, little rototillers that go through the pasture. So the chickens follow the cows about every two days the chickens move and about every two days the, the cows move. And what he's doing is he's creating this awesome environment for the chickens and the cows, the bugs that live in the pasture, and um, 
and also getting all the proper grasses and weeds and flowers that help make chickens and cows and turkeys grow strong and healthy. He's got a beautiful pheasant habitat that's in the woods. So the pheasants are in a natural type environment until harvest time. This is so exciting for me because I've never ever read or seen any other pet tree company or even dog food company that's growing their own stuff. So when I saw all this and when David brought me out that very first time and I went home and I contemplated what I had been seeing, what David had showed me and I called him up and I said, David, please bring me back. <laughs> bring me back. I, I have to do this again. I got to see what you're doing. I have to be a part of this. So when I got back, I said, why? Why does no one know? what you're doing why does no one on planet earth have a clue where these dog treats are coming from how come you're not telling the world let that be my part to help you out so i immediately jumped on the social media bandwagon and the facebook and the instagram and began assisting there began making videos for youtube so please go to uh, front porch pets on youtube and check out the videos that we're making to show the world what we're doing i've got many more coming many more to make but that's why I'm coming, one of the reasons why I'm coming to Wisconsin. Now here's the best part. If you didn't know already, Wolf Daddy, me, is a registered trademark. So those people of you that are using my Wolf Daddy, you kinda gotta stop because it is, a, it, it is illegal to use my brand. But, uh, and I have a brand new YouTube channel called Wolf Daddy's Kitchen, where I'm cooking dog foods and dog treats for you and your dogs. And, uh, and so there will be some Wolf Daddy's Kitchen products that'll be sold through Front Porch Pets. If you've been following me at all, you've seen my uh, chicken bark and my cow bark, and uh, I've got this beautiful gravy mix coming. I've got my uh, Wolf Daddy's Howlin' cookie mix already, uh, already done. And so we're waiting for packaging. I have a packaging meeting tomorrow. How exciting to get the packaging company out here. So I hopefully that's answered some of your questions. I'll be talking about front porch pets a lot. Oh, and what about the wolves? What about the wolves, Leighton? Okay, I'm only here 30 days per business quarter. Uh, I'm not leaving our wolves at this point in time. But also, when the Wolf Daddy products are up and for sale, the Wolf Sanctuary will be getting a portion of the proceeds made from my products. The wolves are so important to my life. But there's one other thing that's super important to my life that I'm sharing with you today, and that's health and wellness. I have always been a health and wellness freak since I can remember. And unfortunately, not knowing that I had celiac disease, which now answers a lot of questions of why, in spite of the fact that I always worked so hard to eat and be healthy, that I never really felt super robust. Uh, but these days I do. And uh, that in the CBD oil that I've been taking has been transforming my life. But uh, so that's what my new YouTube channel is all about. Wolf Daddy's Kitchen is about my health, your health, and our pet's health. So check out my YouTube channel as well, Wolf Daddy's Kitchen. But definitely go over and see what we're doing at Front Porch Pets on the YouTube channel. See the videos that I'm putting up. And even go to our Facebook page and like us and share uh, what we're doing. Go to our Instagram and you'll see what we're working on there. So thank you, my friends. There's the reason why... And I, w I would love to tell you more because I don't, I have never met a person like Chef, Chef David. He is the coolest guy you will know. He is, uh, he's tuned in to planet Earth and he understands what we need to do to keep our environment healthy, to keep our pets healthy. And uh, that's what he's doing here at Front Porch Pets. So join me, join us. Go to Amazon, look at our new Amazon page. Well, that's another thing I was doing, working with one of the other Front Porch Pets uh, employees and putting together a brand new Amazon store, Front Porch Pets. Check that out. That's something that we've been working on as well. And uh, if you take a look at what our old website looked like, and then I can show you here what our new website is going to be looking like, you'll see that we're going to have uh, a much better, prettier, much, uh, a, a way better display, and uh, we'll have a lot more products, because that's what we're working on, and uh, anyway, I've rambled, <laughs> so thank you again, my friends, and uh, share, 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 share Wolf Daddy's Kitchen, 
share front porch pets on YouTube. Love ya. Thank you.